Good morning. It's Friday, June 28th, 2024. It is a cloudy, gloomy day here in Northeast Iowa. We got quite a bit of rain overnight and it is much cooler. Um, the weather could be bumpy yet today, depending on how things fire up. So do pay attention to the weather and the forecasts. A few announcements for the day. Uh, committal services for Geraldine Sandin this afternoon at Clayton Cemetery. Uh, Geraldine is a former resident of the Clayton County area, uh, and we ask God's blessings and prayers for her family as a commender to God. Funeral tomorrow for uh, Ron McNally, that'll be at Marian Lutheran Church, and then burial services at 2.30 at the Monona Cemetery for Joyce Montour's daughter Phyllis. Do keep all of these families who are grieving in your prayers. Remind you of worship services this coming Sunday, 8.30 at first, 10.30 at St. Paul's. Both services, of course, will be live streamed, and we hope that you can tune in if you can't be with us. Reminder, too, of the 4th of July celebration here in Garnavillo next Thursday. Uh, that'll begin with a parade around 10 o'clock and be festivities in the park throughout the day and fireworks concluding the evening. On the 7th of J July, will be worship services in the park here in Garnavillo starting around 10 o'clock and worship services at Pikes Peak at 9.30. And I hope you can make one of those services. Those are the announcements I want to touch on today. Today is the feast day of St. Arrhenius of Lyon. Arrhenius was an early Christian, born in the year 130, died in the year 202, um, coming a century after the time of Jesus. Irenaeus was made bishop in Lyon uh, under time of great persecution and conflict within the church, as well as a time of many heresies growing up around the person of Jesus. A heresy is any idea or teaching about Jesus or about God that is incorrect. And it's different from a mistaken understanding of God, where you might be corrected. A heresy is something a person intentionally believes to be true, holds on to it to be true, and then teaches others that it is true. Uh, an early heresy that Irenaeus uh, wrote against was the Gnosticism. Gnosticism was the heresy that taught that a person needed special knowledge uh, in order to be saved, and that Jesus had come to impart that knowledge. It oftentimes denied the divinity of Jesus and was roundly condemned by the early church. There were other heresies that were around at the time of Arrhenius, and one of his major writings was his writing against heresies. Heresies beset the church at all times. We are not immune to them in the modern age, and they were certainly very much a part of the early years of the church. Part of the reason for heresies was the struggle to decide and to discern who just exactly this Jesus is. There was a great deal of discussion around the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus in the early church. Who was this Jesus? Was he indeed the Son of God? Was he truly divine and truly human? The church struggled with answering those questions for the first few centuries because it was a hard question to answer. The experience of God becoming flesh was unique. The salvation that was won through the death and resurrection of Jesus was something that had to be discussed and ironed out so that what we understood what it meant for the early Christians and for Christians still today. And so it is always a challenge when we start talking about who is Jesus and what does Jesus mean for us, that we can sometimes stray quite a ways from what it is the Orthodox faith might be. And that's something the church always has to be on guard for, because each generation has its own heresies. And perhaps the greatest heresy, if you will, of modern Christianity, although there are several floating around out there, is the heresy of individualism. That my uniqueness as an individual sets me over against all other individuals and even against God. And it can go so far as to say an individual's truth is the truth for them. And it can't be questioned, it can't be called into doubt. And even if it goes against Orthodox Christianity, it should be allowed to stand. And of course, that's a danger to saving faith. If you lead someone away from the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, if you lead someone away from the faith that was revealed by God and handed down to us by the apostles, 
then we endanger salvation and souls. It is not just a simple disagreement on theology. It is indeed a matter of life and death. And so like Irenaeus before us, we Christians in this age must stand against the heresies that arise. We must identify them, explain why they are contrary to the Christian faith, and encourage and call people back to faithfulness so they do not stray from Orthodox Christianity. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for St. Irenaeus who stood against the heresies of his age, who was faithful in his calling as a bishop and taught and wrote about what was important to trust and believe in the Lord. Help us in our own day and age to come back the heresies that assail us, to call them out for what they are, and to help others to see more clearly the Savior, his life, his death, and his resurrection. We pray for all those who mourn, ask that your loving care would be with them and give them the consolation they need in the face of death. We thank you for hearing us pray today. We ask it all in your name. Amen. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. I hope you have a very good rest of the day. And until then, goodbye now.